Hey guys, how's it going? This is a little bit of a spur of the moment video. I wasn't actually planning the video of this repair that I'm doing. And by the way, this thing sounds like a jackhammer over there. That's a woodpecker, if you can believe that. Yep. And so anyway, what I'm up to is the odometer backlight went out in this Infiniti. This is a 2000 Infiniti Q45. I had a 98 Infiniti Q45 before that that was just like this one. And the same thing happened to it, the odometer light burned out. So you look around on the internet, that seems to be a pretty common occurrence on these Nissans. This is just basically a Nissan. And so I thought I would just detail to you what it takes to replace this and that you don't have to go to the dealer to get this bulb. It's not a bulb that's only made by Nissan or anything of the sort. Uh, like I said, I apologize for being kind of in the middle of this, but it's not hard to get to this point at all. I just unhooked my battery first of all and then I came in and I took out my bezel which is called bezel not bezel not boozle and on it sits in here like this so to speak like you're looking at it like this and it's got two screws up here take those out and then you just work the bottom out pry your hands around the edge right here at the front and just kind of pull pull back on it towards you pops right out and don't forget that you also have a plug that goes to that security light. It's, I didn't show you there real quick, but it's just a little plug right here. Be sure you take that out because somebody's already been in here and evidently tore it apart. They had to fix it, I guess. So, so that brings you to this. Uh, the cluster in here just sits in here. It's got a screw here, which goes in right up there. It's got one that goes right up in the left right there. It's got one here got one down there take those four screws out and this thing kind of just can pull out and I was able to manipulate this around so I didn't even have to unplug it and what I was looking for is there's a plug hangs off a single wire right there and I weasel the camera and that just unclips you just twist it and remove it from the back of the cluster and it goes in If you can follow me a little bit here, I'm going to put my thumb up right where it goes. See there's a hole right there? That's where that goes into. It's the only place it'll fit in anywhere close right there on this Infiniti. But, you know, that's not specific to, to know where that's at. You're just going to simply want to go back, you know, behind the cluster here and look where what bulb would be right kind of in the vicinity of that odometer right there so and then you find it and I took it out and it was blown so that's my problem I'm gonna just replace it with another bulb and go on my merry way and here's the thing about that this takes a number 74 bulb this is a Sylvania I got this at the parts store I got a two pack of them for like whatever it was $4.99 $3.99 something like that they weren't that expensive just a common off-the-shelf bulb and it's just one of these, it's, it's a, what do they call this, a bayonet base bulb or whatever, wedge base, I think this is called a wedge base, but just a common style here, just pulls right out of that little socket in there, and just replace it and go on, and this, like I said, you don't have to go to the Nissan dealer to get the special Nissan bulb, there's nothing special about them, just go to the parts store, this one here is like three miles from my house, you can find these anywhere a lot cheaper now then that's not to say that you may run into one that has one of these wired in bulbs and that's a different approach that you have to do on those those are the kind of bulbs that are soldered into the base and you can't just pull them out they're not a wedge based bulb they've got uh, leads on them that are originally they're they're uh, soldered in but you can put them back in and wrap them but in that case, I go to Radio Shack. I, they actually still have one around here. And I get these. This is a 7218 micro lamp. It's a 12 volt, 60 milliamp, what we call a wire terminal base. If you look in there, it looks like almost like feelers, antenna on an insect or something. But it's got two long leads, and that's all there is to it. It's just got a bulb by itself. So what you do is you, you un fasten the old one and then you use these leads to wrap around one side of the terminal 
the socket terminal and one to the other one, wrap it securely, put it back in, you're good to go. That's how that works. It takes a little bit of understanding, a little bit of ingenuity, a little bit of confidence to do it, and a little bit of quickly learned skill. It's not brain surgery. Now, normally these Japanese cars had the good sense not to use those bulbs. They're mostly these wedge base bulbs, but that Volvo back there it uses all of those. You have to wire in, hard wire in every one of those bulbs. It sucks. But this should fix it up. If you've got a Nissan like a Sentra or Altima or a Maxima, these these are the same area they use a lot of those common parts. Infinity. So if you have a problem, you know, Pathfinder, QX4, whatever. So if you have that going on, you don't you don't want to keep looking at a blank uh, odometer at night, then this should fix you up. Now, don't confuse this by meaning if your odometer goes blank, which means there's no numbers on it, but it lights up, this is not going to fix that. This is a bulb that illuminates it. So if you have problems with the digits themselves, that's something else. This won't cover that, so unfortunately. But I appreciate you watching, and got any questions, shoot them at me. I'll be glad to try to help you. And uh, so I hope this fixes you up, guys. Thanks for watching. Later.